In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built my own SEO tool for $20 in about two afternoons with absolutely no coding background. By the end of this video, you know exactly how I built it so you can build your own instead of having to pay hundreds on expensive SEO tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush, and Moz that charge extremely high monthly fees to access just the basics. Just here's the reality. If you're serious about SEO and you want your website to actually get seen by the right people, who will generate you the right traffic and convert into clients, it all starts with high quality data. Otherwise, you're just kind of guessing. And by the data, I mean things like keyword data, the search engine results page, competitor data, on-site SEO, backlinks, and lately, really importantly, AI search data. The annoying thing is that most companies that have access to all of this do not make the access cheap. So instead of these really expensive tools, I built my own for a fraction of a price, which I can customize to meet my own needs. Now, for this, we're gonna keep things very simple and you're gonna need two main things. You're going to need a way to get access to live SEO data and you need an AI coding tool to put all this thing together and make your custom SEO tool. So let's set up our first thing that we need and that's access to real-time SEO data. You've probably heard me talk about this one. We're going to use data for SEO. There's a couple of reasons why I really like this. One of them being this is a pay-as-you-go type of application, meaning if you don't use it, you don't pay for it. You put a couple of credits in and you can kind of forget about it. And also you get $5 free credit when you first sign up, which goes a long way in data for SEO. Make sure you use the link in the description below. So what you wanna do is log in and create an account. When you log in, you'll have a dashboard that looks like this, except you won't have so much balance here. You'll have about $5 or $1, depending on the link that you use to log in. Here, there are two things that we need. If you go to the API access background, and I know this looks a little bit complicated, but trust me, you won't be doing much coding at all. We need these two things, the API login and the API password. These are the things that we're gonna to give to our AI coding tool to make all this happen. To get the API password, if you don't see it here, you're just gonna click send by email and you'll see it in your email inbox. Make sure you save that. The second reason why I really like this application is because whilst they give you all the documentation data on how to make all the API calls for the different types of data like keyword data, domain analysis, and backlink data, which is obviously very handy, if you don't know how to read any of that code, it can sound a little bit like a second language or absolute gibberish. The beautiful thing that they have is this AI chat, which you can just ask, hey, I'm building this type of SEO app, what API calls do I need to make? Because you don't even know, you don't even have to read through all the documentation. You can ask the AI chatbot that has been trained with all of their documentation, making things very very easy. So we'll be using this to help us a lot through our application. Now, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a keyword gap and our analyzer app that will tell you what keywords you're ranking for, your competitors ranking for, and what you are missing so you can outrank them. Nice and easy, very useful. The app that I've built before, which is accessible in our uh, community for free, has all of the API calls and we're adding onto it, like related keywords, keyword suggestions, difficulty, uh, how to find the ranked keywords of a website and a bunch more things, but I wanna keep things nice and simple. So with the data for SEO access set up and the API credentials saved, the next thing we need is to make an account with a lovable.dev. Now, there's a lot of these AI coding tools and you might be able to do the same thing with other things uh, like Google's new application, Replit or whatever AI coding tool you have. But lately, Lovable has just done a few integrations with Superbase, which allows you to create its own backend access, which makes it really simple. And recently it just worked really well. And for $20 a month, I think it's incredible when you can build your own application. So make sure you create an account with lovable.dev using the link below, helps out the channel. And we're going to start planning this out. A little bit of planning goes a long way here. So within data for SEO, the account, you wanna click on the AI chat that I showed you before, and we're gonna ask it, well, to do this type of application, what kind of API uh, calls do we need to make to you, right? So here, uh, it might look like this, it might look like this, it changes every now and then, but I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna ask it, uh, I want to build a keyword gap analysis SEO application where I can put in the competitor's website and our website and it will tell me what are the keywords that both websites are ranking for and which ones we are missing that the competitor is ranking for so we can work on that. Which API call would we need to make to be able to do this? So quite a complex question really if you needed to sift through all that application and understand it but thankfully with our little uh, AI chat assistant it should understand the question and give us all that. 
And we want this because we want the documentation URL. We want to give that to lovable.dev so it can read everything. It can understand how the call is returned, meaning how all the data is returned and it will start making a plan for itself. Perfect. So it's given us a bit of an understanding and it said, uh, let me, I checked the data for SEO Google Labs overview and you'll need kind of these two. This is the Google overview and the keywords for site that looks like the right ones. Now we're gonna to go to the lovable.dev and we're going to tell it the same thing um, that essentially I want to build a keyword gap analyzer SEO tool where I can place in my website, my competitor's website. It'll tell me all the keywords that both websites are ranking for and which ones my website needs to rank for to outcompete the competitor or outrank the competitor. You're gonna be using the Data for SEO API to make these calls. And I want this to be a bring your own key type application where a user can place in their API keys from Data for SEO to get the data. I wanna make sure that you can use this tool once you can watch this once after watching this video. Uh, so I've got that there. And before hitting enter, I'm just going to copy the sources where data for SEO understands where that documentation is. So lovable.dev can read it. You can see it's starting to spin up a preview. Uh, it's thinking about this. And whilst we're waiting for this to happen, uh, lovable.dev has released a couple of features, which a lot of other AI coding tools have, by the way, which is chat, where you can just chat with lovable before you actually start building, which I highly recommend for you to do once we really start getting into the nitty gritty of this build. After about 10 minutes of coding, it gave us the first iteration. Now, I want to be very clear, it probably is not going to work the first time. We need to have a little bit of back and forth with it. But already, we've got a keyword gap analyzer, discover and extract keywords your competitors that rank for that you don't. Yeah, cool. Nice homepage. Let's go to start analysis. Great. So we need the API login and then we need the API password that I told you to say. This is from data for SEO. So I know the login and the password I've actually saved here. Okay. Uh, validate and continue. Okay. So your website and the competitor's domain. Let's test this out. So I've got two websites that we're going to test this out on. Uh, they're both digital marketing agencies in Melbourne. So this one, let's say we want to rank. Uh, I'm going to go back to our application the website and then the competitor's website in this example. I'm gonna go back here. Uh, perfect start keyword gap analysis. Let's see what happens. Perfect, so we have an issue and that's fine. That was going to happen. Uh, we're going to say, uh, turn this into chat mode so that it doesn't start building right away. I wanna say, when I tried to do the gap analysis, we got an error. Can you please investigate and see what's going on? Once it came back with the fixes, it understood that it missed out on putting the target location. Now, since both of these websites will be in Australia, we need to make sure that the target location is Australia. And let's see now if it's going to work. Uh, stop, start the gap analysis. Let's see what it comes up with. Hopefully we get a list of keywords that we or the uh, website that we want to rank for. There you go, has all the keywords. So it's found a lot of opportunities here. These are all the keywords that uh, the website that we want to rank is not ranking for and the competitors are. Wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> this is already really good considering we're just going back and forth and there's so many. Now what I probably want here is a lot of this other stuff isn't really making sense. And if we click through this, there's not really much added component here. Huh, what if we go and test this out? If we go to pin, yeah, okay, that's working. I didn't even give it that idea to filter through the keywords. That's great, actually. I do want one more perspective. I wanna be able to download all of the keywords that I'm missing for. And I wonder if I can actually place the search volume for those keywords. Let's, oh, I can actually <laughs> export those CSV files. Let's see what that export looks like, actually, if it's really useful or not. Perfect, so now I have all the keywords that the website we want to rank for is not ranking and the competitor is. It did that without even thinking. So I wonder if we can display, this really isn't working. Um, let's say we want to understand, I mean, these aren't working as well and these aren't working. So let's tell it that and see if we can make this other a little bit more clean or more useful with these items not working. 
So the call works, but the top items like the high opportunities, medium opportunities, and the average search volume at the top is not working. Can we either remove those or change them for something a bit more useful? And by putting them on the chat feature, we're going to make sure that we just have a back and forth conversation before it kind of changing all the code in the background. I just wanted to analyze it first so we don't waste too much conversation as well. You wanna make sure that you say that as much as you can. And you can see that it found the error and it'll see if it can fix it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so after analyzing the cause, it seemed to found what the issue was. And now you get this option here to implement the plan. Because remember, we're still in the chat version here. I'm gonna ask it to implement the plan. It'll take a couple of minutes and let's try it out once it's implemented the new fixes. Okay, now let's try the last iteration. Uh, let's do one more test here after it's done the fixes that we asked it to do. We're going to go and set all the inputs, start keyword gap analysis. And let's see what it comes out with. It even has the loading uh, kind of animation. I think it's honestly really good. It's getting to the point that if you've got an idea for an app or if you're paying for an expensive one, you can build your own. And now we got something really useful. We've got the keywords that we're not ranking for. We got the search volume and the difficulty and even the opportunity. Now we've got a solid application that we can start using that will give us a really good understanding of what we need to start ranking for and what we need to start doing to outrank our competitors. And it took us a matter of minutes, $20, and we don't even have to pay for those API credits from data for SEO because we get $5 free and we probably used a few cents, not even that. How good is that? So now in a few minutes, we've managed to build our own custom SEO tool that we can add more functionalities to it as we want. Now, it's one thing getting all the data, but it's a completely other different thing, knowing what to do with it and turning that into an actionable insights. Now, thankfully, I've done a three hour long SEO tutorial you can watch here that will help you through that, turning data into actionable insights to get you traffic that converts into clients. And if you're serious about this and you want to accelerate your learning with SEO and get clients and start making SEO work for you, you can check out our community where you can have access to our SEO tool for free inside the community and you can try out AR Ranking, our community, for seven days completely for free. I'll leave that in the link below. Again, thanks for watching and let me know what other kind of tools you think we should use with lovable.dev. Cheers.